Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to share a burger recipe and this burger is a vegetarian burger and that too healthy with soya. Burger we are not frying, we are just shallow frying it and we are making with soya granules. So dear friends, I thought of you know taking one vegetable and making different kinds of variations with that vegetable. So today I'm going to share a recipe with soya granules making a burger. So let's start how to make. Here is the soya granules which I just soaked in warm water and this has become nice soft. So always do that. Soya has rich in protein so you can just have once in a while instead of bringing a regular keema and you know chicken and shrimp and fish once in a while you can have this also dear friends. Here in a pan we are going to just add some oil and very little of garlic. We are going to slightly saute some garlic and onion and also some sweet corn. You know soya has you know little bit bland flavor so you can add some you know sweet corn and potato and any other ingredients to make it nice and rich and you know tasty. Add finely chopped onions and we are going to cook it till it is transparent not color. Salt and I am just going to cook for one minute and then we are going to add sweet corn. Here I have sweet corn I have finely chopped the sweet corn. If you want you can you know blend it into coarsely and add it. I want the sweet corn to be seen in between so I just roughly chopped it and we are going to add the sweet corn also. This is optional dear friends only to enhance the flavor I am adding the sweet corn and now we are going to add the pepper powder. If you want you can add red chili powder and all you know Indian spices you can add and make your burger but today I am just adding some pepper powder and some herbs and I am going to make a burger and some mixed herbs. This is also optional I said you can make it Indian style by using Indian spices. So difference here you can see our sweet corn and onions are slightly you know got colored. I am going to switch off the flame and this is done and here I have the soya just put it in a bowl you know depending upon how many you want to make based on that you can take your soya but make sure you squeeze out the moisture if it is too much moisture then you cannot bind it and we are going to add one potato so that we can you know bind it when we make a burger we need a binding so just add one boiled potato I am here to encourage you to make different kinds of food with different kinds of vegetables. We should not stick on to only one kind of you know recipe. We can make with one vegetable different kinds of recipes. I am going to show you that. So here I mashed the potato nicely and now we are going to add this mixture and mix this also. We added less salt and I am going to mix this. Friends here you can see our soya mixture is nicely binding just bind it and make a patty like how you make your chicken patty and you know non-veg patty or cutlets same way just press it nicely and we are going to make a burger shape round if it is too much moisture then you can add some more of you know boiled potato or even you can add some breadcrumbs also into this so that it will bind nicely so friends here our burger patties are ready and here the tawa is also ready and what we are going to do is if you want you can you know use egg also and you can just beat one egg dip it and then coat it with breadcrumbs but today I am doing a vegetarian so I want to be total vegetarian that to no egg. So here I have the slurry which I made it with all purpose flour add very little water and make into a thick paste and I am going to dip the patty into this. So here is the patty and dip it and in the same bowl we are going to add some breadcrumbs so that we can coat it with breadcrumbs. So friends just coat your breadcrumbs nicely. See that your soya is not too much moist. If it is moist then you cannot bind it will break and here put it into our breadcrumbs just coat this nicely. I am going to just wash my hands and then I am going to coat it nice. Coat it nicely with breadcrumbs. 
you know, if you coat it, you'll get a nice texture. I love this texture. So this way I want it. If you don't want to coat it in, you know, slurry and then in the breadcrumbs, you can skip that part and directly also you can shallow fry on a pan. This is ready to go into our pan. Dear friends, here the pan is nice and hot. Just add some butter. We are going to cook this patty. It's very, very slowly put it and you'll get an excellent color. And we're going to cook this on both the sides till we get a nice golden color. Dear friends, when I make burger in my house, what I do is I'll cut all the vegetables and just wrap it with clean wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Whenever I'm making burger, I just remove it and immediately I can, you know, serve it. You can do that. Just turn it to the other side. We are going to cook it on slow flame till we get a nice golden color. So friends, here our burger is cooking. Meanwhile, what I am going to do is I will take the burger bread. We are going to cut this into two and put it on the same pan. Whatever you know the excess butter is there into the, your pan, this will absorb. And we are going to slightly heat this. If you have a bigger pan, then you can you know make two, three at a time. I think it is slightly warm and here you can see, yeah, this is ready. I am going to just switch off the flame, take my bread first and I am going to just turn this one side. First, we are going to spread some mayonnaise. If you have mayonnaise and mustard sauce, you can just spread a little bit and into this, we are going to put some nice colors, some tomatoes and some cucumber and some onions. If you have hung yogurt, you can use that also. And now there goes our patty. Before adding patty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze in some tomato ketchup. My son loves tomato ketchup, so I'll just put some tomato ketchup. And very slowly, we're going to put this soya chunks burger patty on top. And if you want, you can some more of tomato ketchup and some lettuce. Either you can put the lettuce at the bottom or at the top, your wish. You can, you know, garnish your burger the way you like it. You know, I always love to add more of lettuce and very, very little of butter to our top part of the bread. Spread it and seal it. Dear friends, nobody will guess if you make this, they will think it's a non-vegetarian and it's a yummy, yummy burger, but we made a vegetarian burger that too with soya give it to your kids they won't even know what you have added into this and they'll happily happily have the entire burger dear friends don't go to the store try to make it fresh in your house like this friends this burger is like so yummy as I said, I don't even feel that I made this burger with soya chunks. Such a nice and yummy, yummy, yummy burger. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this simple, simple recipe. Soya chunks burger recipe. If you like it, make it. And also, share it with your friends so that everybody will make fresh, fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.